Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. So what are we talking about today? We are talking about noses and this can be cartoon noses, Muppet noses, uh, kids noses, male, female, white, black, uh, and so forth and so on. Yeah. Right. So uh, yeah, it all depends on what style you're looking for. If it's cartoony, you have a lot more liberty to come up with whatever you want. If it's more, uh, you know, anatomically correct, you have a little bit more guidelines, right? But that said, let's just uh, make a few to give you kind of an idea how to get started, right? Right. So let's say we got some kind of uh, Muppet type nose. We'll take a sphere. We'll elongate that something like this and then it's really very very simple you take a sphere you hit w you pull it out like so you rotate it hit e to rotate j to snap and then you can hit r and you're going to kind of stretch it out make it a lot smaller bring it in kind of tilt it like so and that could already be a kind of a Muppet style nose, right? Something like that. And I think uh, in Sesame Street, what's his name? Uh, Bert or Ernie, one of these two, they got a nose looking like that. That's of course extremely simple. Now, if you look at something like Muppets like this, you see we got uh, the teddy bear type deal here, more rounded nose. This is more kind of the nose that we just did. But you can also have something like this guy, right? Now, if you do that, then it's more something like this. You take a cube, you pull it out, you make it longer, right? And this is getting already a little bit closer towards what you would say is a human nose, right? You drag, select these two, you push that in, and you push these in too, but not as much. And then you bring this back quite a bit, like so. And then what you can do, if you want, is enter the edge loop, put one in the middle, like this. Q on the keyboard, select this guy, hit W, move it forward a little bit. All right. And then if you want, you can go in here. There's that Maya glitch again. Go in here, go to vertex, push that back. If we hit three, let's see what we get. Okay, so we need to reinforce that. So we're gonna insert some edge loops. It's all very, very simple at this stage, right? So yeah, that should be about it. All right, Q on the keyboard, hit three. And you get something looking like this. You bring that in, you scale that down quite a bit, rotate it a little, hit W, push that in. And we can manipulate the shape a little bit. Uh, let's see, we'll do maybe something like this. And then if you want, you can curve that a little, right? Now in this case, we made the head quite uh, big. So we'll adjust the nose a little bit. And you can do a bend deformer if you want. You can go in here, do a nonlinear bend deformer. Open up the attribute editor. Let's see how it's positioned. Yeah, there you go. So we'll do something like this. Yeah, you would get something looking like that, right? So, edit, delete by type, and history. There you have it. Anyway, you get the idea. Now, if you want to go a little bit more towards uh, human style, right? Then it would be a slightly different approach because then you have to take account for the fact that we have nostrils and that kind of thing. Now, there are many ways to approach this and there are many shapes and forms, but what I like to do is just to start off with a uh, polygon plane. And we're just gonna go in here and um, hit the control A. Let's, uh, let's see, we'll 
bring back the subdivision to one by one for now. All right. And now we're going to do is we're going to hit R and we're going to scale this out. All right. Then we're going to go to insert edge loop. We're going to set it to multiple and two. All right. And we're going to put them in here. So the idea is that the nostrils will be in these two spaces, and this is going to be the main shape of the nose, right? So we're going to right click the vertex. We're going to drag click these. Come on, vertex. Drag click these, yeah. We're going to hit R. We're going to kind of push them to the side. Then we're going to take this edge right here. Okay, and we're going to hit uh, Control E to extrude. Tell me to move forward. So we get something like this, right? Now we're gonna flip this guy over. We're gonna hit E to rotate, hold on J, flip it around like so. There you have it, yeah. And then we're gonna go in here and to one and two. We're gonna have to control E to extrude. Let's do an offset here of uh, 0 0.3 maybe, 0 0.2. 0 0.15 that'd be good yeah so we got that and then we're gonna hit delete all right we're gonna take the whole thing and we're gonna hit extrude and we're gonna hit w and we're gonna pull that up actually we can pull it down so we don't have to reverse it right Okay, so if you do something like this and you then grab select the bottom at the top for AC, sorry, and you hit R and you scale it in and then push it back, right? You'll get the overall shape of a nose. Now it's far from a nose, I'm aware, right? But you can now go in here and start to play with that, right? So you can push that back and you can bring them in. So hit R. So this base will be closer to, uh, the closest to the face is wider, and then that comes in. And then you can take these, and you can push that in. You can, of course, insert an edge loop, uh, or multiple if you want, but we'll do multiple and one. We'll put that one in here, all right. And then we'll take this guy right here nope this guy right here yeah we're gonna w we're gonna move that forward a little bit now let's do a quick preview smooth hit three so you can see where we're going right so we're gonna hit one to go back we're gonna insert some edge loops let's do uh i don't know insert edge loop let's do five or so for now, okay. Now, usually someone's nose is not that straight. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take a couple of faces here, hold on the tab key. It's a bit finicky for some reason. Okay, there you go. So we're gonna take these, actually just take these four, I think. Yeah, we'll take these four. We're going to B for soft select, and we're going to click and drag to increase that area. Hit W, bring that forward a little bit, right? And then we're going to take this vertex here and bring that forward a bit. All right, so now if we go back and hit three, <coughs> excuse me, we'll get something looking like this. And it looks like I, by accident, selected uh, something in the back there yeah i did not good my bad all right but you get the idea so let's try that again and it's always important to check so hit four and now i know that i only have this hit five we're gonna move that forward a little and you can even uh, tilt it somewhat if you want. Maybe something like this, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. You can pull that nose down if you want the nose to look a little bit uh, hooked if you want, or with like an additional bump in it like this. You can do all of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Uh, we're going to take this one and this one, and we're going to push that in like so. And then if you want, you can hit R and scale that in like this. You want the side area to flare out. So let's go in here. Let's select this edge and that one, right? And we're going to pull it out like so. And maybe you want to do that with these as well, right? So this one and that one, okay? And we're going to pull that out as well. So you're starting to get something looking more like a nose, right? And if you don't want this to be pointing out right here, you can bring that in, of course. And it's going to be something looking like this, which might be a bit better, all right? Okay, so now we have that. You can uh, make the nostril hole smaller if you like, but of course you don't have to. And uh, yeah, up here, what you can do, and I actually advise you to do that, is close up these holes. So we're going to hit one to go back. We're going to go to, uh, let's see, to um, faces. And I'm going to delete these inner faces here because you would normally not see this, obviously, right? And I'll do the same here. Now, you will have some faces on the inside of the nose that you don't need. So that's, of course, topology that is not very clean. So I suggest you clean that up, right? But what you can do is actually, um, let me see. First of all, turn off the soft select because that's driving me nuts, right? Okay, so what you can do is you can just select these. Again, hit four. Make sure you're not selecting anything you shouldn't. Like, for example, down here, right? Okay, and you can delete those. You can go back to five. You can right click to the edge, double click, go to fill hole and double click, and it's G to repeat last command. And now if we hit three, you have something looking like a human nose, right? Now, at this stage, you can go in here and you can double click on this guy and shift double click on this guy extrude hit w push up and then whether you want to close that up in the inside or not is up to you okay so yeah many many shapes many many types it's all up to you uh, this is just an approach that i use uh, if you think it's uh, helpful and useful then uh, yeah let me know in the comments and uh, that said thanks so much for watching see you guys in the next one bye